This is the introduction video for EXSC 120, Mechanical Basis of Exercise Science. So to firstly introduce you to the team, um, I'm Matt Sweeney, I'm the lecturer in charge of this unit. Uh, I'll also be taking nine of the week's lectures and two uh, practical classes each week. Uh, we also have Mark Creeby on the team who will be taking three of your lectures this semester, Tom, Jeff and Sean who will all be taking tutorials throughout the semester as well. An aspect of the unit that most of you will be keeping a close eye on is the assessments, so how exactly you're going to get a grade in this unit. The first of the assessments will be the laboratory workbook, which is an open book assessment covering the kinematic concepts of the semester, and that will be due in week five. It'll be open book, and we'll talk more about it in the early weeks of the lectures and tutorials. You'll also have the mechanical present changes presentation, which is worth 30% of your grade, and that will be due in week 12. You'll be taking some video suggesting a mechanical change and trying to explain that change in a short presentation at the end of semester. You'll also have a written examination at the end of semester in exam period worth 40% uh, and that will have a variety of different questions from concepts throughout the semester. Another important aspect of the unit is how you interact with the content. And so, you, as you'll notice in the unit outline, we have a series of face-to-face -face lectures across the 12 weeks. Uh, and the lectures that I'll be taking for nine of those weeks uh, will predominantly be from an inquiry-based approach where I will be posing a series of questions and we'll be interacting through those questions. I'll be asking you to solve problems, um, helping you with those problems, and those problems will take us towards the concepts throughout the semester. Uh, we found this is a much more engaging way of interacting with the biomechanics concepts rather than going through a step-by-step -step sort of traditional lecture format. Uh, they all will be recorded recorded um, and available to you hopefully um, within the week that they're recorded. There'll also be slides um, posted before and even um, updated slides after the lecture content. Um, but I will say a word of warning there that this inquiry-based or interactive approach of lectures, you can still get a lot out of watching those online, but not as much um, value as coming to those face-to-face. -face. So if you can make those, I know not everyone can, but if you can, I think you'll get some value out of that. Um, in alongside these face-to-face -face lectures, I also aim to provide a series of concept modules for most of the concepts throughout the semester. This is a big body of work, um, and so they won't be available for every concept. I am working hard on creating this for as many concepts as possible. And so those are short little videos that you can follow along that explain the concepts. You can watch those before the lecture to be a bit more prepared for some of the questions coming ahead or you may want to tackle them after um, to help you solve some of those problems in your um, study for the assessments. There also is the laboratory and tutorial classes. We've um, defined tutorials as those classes where we're not doing an activity that's um, collecting data and laboratory classes we will be collecting some data. So there'll be a series of those and you can check your unit outline for um, and your timetable for where those are and um, when those are taking place. Um, but we'll be doing a range of activities uh, and we try to make these as interactive as possible as well. With respect to resources for this unit, you will obviously have your lecture slides, your lecture recordings. I'd pay close attention to your practical class handouts that will be available for you in Leo each week and make sure to revisit those um, continually through the semester. Please also don't forget the recommended textbook, Basic Biomechanics. It covers quite well a lot of the concepts we covered through the semester. It also has a lot of the concepts that will be covered in the second year biomechanics unit, so we've deliberately chosen it as the recommended text for both. So if you do happen to purchase it, it will cover you for both units. With respect to math, something that people have a lot of fears about, and I will talk about a little bit further in the lecture and the um, practical classes and the need for it, we have created a math skills module on you for Leo. Um, so if you are a little bit rusty on or a little bit concerned about your math ability coming into um, biomechanics, then I would definitely check that on on Leo. It's got the concepts that we cover, it's got links to outside resources and a lot of ways to interact with the sort of math skills that you'll be expected to be able to do throughout this unit. So lastly, I want to just briefly touch on keys to success or succeeding in exercise science 120 
and having delivered this unit for a number of years now, I can confidently say anyone listening to this video can do well in this unit. Um, you may have heard that it's difficult or have heard that you may not be able to get high marks in it, but you absolutely can. Um, but the success or the key to success really is putting in the work. So here's an example of the distribution of some scores from a couple of years ago. Um, it was actually a lot better than that last year. It fluctuates, but really where you sit uh, on that distribution is how much work you put in. It's not necessarily um, or not at all really, I think, related to your math knowledge going in or your physics knowledge or your um, ability to do those things or to um, tackle problems. It's really just how much work you put in because you're going to get better at it. Uh, so common to anyone who fails in this unit, and I've talked to a number of them over the years, is really inability to put in the work. And that may be um, because they're not motivated to do it, because they either, A, they're overwhelmed by um, the unit and think they can't do well on it, or they've got overconfidence. So they think, oh, this seems easy and you know, I can just turn up to lectures and labs and it's fine uh, and not put any extra work in. Uh, it may be overcommitted in other units or in other paid work or sporting commitments or wherever it is. But if you're not able to put into that work and practice at this unit, then you are really risking a fail. Um, however, you can do really well. We have a lot of high distinctions and almost perfect scores each year um, because of students who have the right um, work ethic. So they, they make it a habit, uh, these students who do well. So they will set aside a particular time each week. They'll go to past classes. Um, and also key to success is enjoying it because if you find a way and examples and aspects of the unit that you can enjoy, then you are more likely to spend time on it and to succeed. Um, so as I said, I'll, I'll cover more throughout the semester on this, but um, it is something that you are going to need to work on. This is the end of the video, quickly overviewing Exercise Science 120. There will obviously be more detail covered throughout the semester, and please remember to read your unit outline before the unit starts.